Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here to do the second video on this very special double header. This was a surprise double header. I mean, there was a Bukkake of videos. I, I had no way of finding room in our schedule for all of them. So I was like, you know what? We gotta we gotta check out these two videos today. So the second video of this double header is Architects with Dead Butterflies. I'm assuming this is a brand new video, a brand new song. So I'm assuming this is part of the upcoming new album, uh, which incorporates the songs that we already checked yeah. before. Uh, I don't even want to waste any more time. I just want to get into. I love architects, so yeah. like, let's just not waste any time and let's just get. So far, let's skip the foreplay. So far, let's the ones just get we've done. Animals is still my favorite. Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, that one. The chorus has so much power, and I just love it. I just have to stand up and just jump. Okay, so let's see what Dead Butterflies brings. All right, let's do this. Butterfly wings had musical notes on them. I gotta go back and check it out. It looked like the butterfly wings had musical notes in them. Uh, 
Can I just go quick? Can I just go? <laughs> I just want to say something quickly, and then I want to get your opinion on okay. this uh, on this track. Listening to this song give me a huge hard on to listen to these guys, watch them live with a real orchestra behind them. Yeah. It has to happen. At some point in time, it has to happen. N not just because of the way this track is put together with the orchestration but that it has. I want to like a lot of different tracks from them. I, I think if there's one band that could really do it and do it like big, these guys can, they have the right songs for it, the right emotion. Yeah. With a choir and a real orchestra. Oh, like how, how in... Take my money. Just take it. I was just going to say like, take my stimulus check. I don't even have one because I don't live in the U.S. But, you know, but take it anyways. Uh, take whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what do you want? You want to, oh, maybe I have to sell sperm in the black market. Whatever. I got to do something. I think you get like 50 bucks, 100 bucks every time you donate. Uh, I looked into it when I was in college. Did you? I, I was strapped for cash. That was an easy 50 bucks. <laughs> that's, that's the easiest uh, 50 bucks I'll ever make in my life. Yeah. I mean, I'll do it for free at home and I don't get paid. Like, why exactly. not make some money out of it? That's what I say. So anyways, absolutely has to happen. I don't know who's in, responsible for making it happen, but somebody has to make it happen. Listening to this song, uh, it, it was the nail in that coffin. It made me feel like this band has to play with a choir and an orchestra behind them at some point in, in a place like that. That 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 whatever that venue was, it looked incredible. It, it looked like an opera house. It looks like the perfect place if you just get some uh, yeah perfect no, place for a song that sounds like this. It lo for me, it looks like a perfect place for a concert from them, anyways. But if you're gonna add the orchestra, since it's such a big stage, you can yes and no. Because there's no way you can mosh in that venue. Uh, there's seating everywhere. Like, wh where the hell are you going to stand? That's true. But So, I, not for any concert from I them, think, but I a think, concert under those circumstances, yes. Yeah. Yes, a concert under those cir circumstances, 100%. When we went to see them, the, the mosh pit was pretty crazy. So, I don't think you want to do that on every single show. But with a, with a choir and an orchestra, take my money and make it happen. All right, so what do, what do you think? Like I said, this is my favorite song now. Move over animals. This is, this is my. This well, there's animal. still animals here, but they're dead and they're butterflies. Yeah, so that's they're, true. So did they fall under animals or is it like an insect? I mean, an insect. insect is still an animal. But anyways, we're getting technical. I'm going all David Attenborough now. Uh, so what is it about this song that made it special? I think the orchestra when it started hitting me with that orchestra, I'm like, ooh, I, I, I like this. This is like it's tickling me in in, in a certain place. I'm liking this, and. As I kept going, I'm like... Uh, was it I'll... your balls? <laughs> were you, is that what you were like? I was thinking, like, where was it tickling? Was it the balls? It could be his anus, because that's where men have their G-spot. Could it be that? Maybe his is prostate. That yeah, that's, uh, you know, it is what it is. You had a colon. God, 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 God had a, a really weird sense of humor when he was putting us together. That's why we enjoy taking shit so much. <laughs> Is that actually... We get slightly turned on every time we take a dump. Any, anyways, come on, we're getting sidetracked. So, um, it's, it's just, I love his voice so much, and whenever I can have a song that has so much melody in it, especially with the the, the orchestra adding so much to it, so much atmosphere, and his vocals just oh, his being voice. being oh. his voice, uh, just take all my money and take all my time away from me. I just want to listen to this song forever because it, it just. It just melts my heart. It goes in. It, it, it goes into my wheelhouse of stuff I like, and it's just a beautiful song. He has. It, let me just say this: that he has an absolutely phenomenal voice. He could commentate Ipswich Town versus Bury FC, and I would watch that game. I I I, I would totally watch that game on on Dazen. I would yeah. the zone, whatever you call it. I, I would. He has such a a warm, welcoming it, it, it voice. Also, you know, it's also part of that is uh, his accent that he doesn't hide it because a lot of uh, British musicians they hide that. Not that they hide, but when they sing, they lose the they, accent. Yeah, which is really weird. I don't know how you sing and automatically you turn uh, North American. People who stutter when they sing, they don't stutter. That's also true. Yeah. Which is really weird, isn't it? You should just sing all the time then. Yeah, just just speak in in, in singing language. Yeah. You know. So, but, but he's able to, to keep the accent there, and I actually really like it, because you can actually hear, when you're listening to him, you can hear where the accent What did you think about in? when the song got a little bit heavier there? There was a stretch there. Like, the song is very melodic as it starts, and, but and it was, I, I, I always thought it was going to stay that way throughout. Like, but I, to I, be I, honest, uh, it was a nice change. 
It needed something. It needed something to change it up a bit. Even though I would have been completely happy with the song just being just like the way this, it is. It was just a nice change. I agree with you. I think it gave it a, a little bit of a kick. Yeah, it, it just gave everything else a glow. It, it, it made the, the rest of the song just glow. I, I agree with you. The change, and it was not like, it's not like it went from zero to a hundred. It was a very subtle change. It didn't yeah. become super heavy. It just became slightly heavier. Just a little bit of a bite. Exactly. But I think it made everything else feel even more melancholic. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it almost came out as, a, as an outburst and then it went back away and the song came back to that melancholic feel that it has. I love it, and I love the different vocals, all of them coming in with a little bit of, of their vocal approach to add yeah. a little bit of almost and you a can choir. Really, you can hear the, the different vocals. Yeah, and it I think that works. That's why I said this song, uh, not just this song, but if you're talking about this song specifically, this song with, with an orchestra and a live choir, then they don't have to do that. They would have the choir doing, doing that. It, with them, it, yeah. it would work very well, but I like the fact that you could hear them. Yeah, it It's not like it was all together. together. Yeah, perfect. I, I agree. I love it. I just... Really interesting track. I, I just, I love the sound. These guys, uh, when was the last time we heard a song from them and we said, this is shit? Never. It's, it has never happened. And never will happen. They just have a very interesting way of constructing songs that, while not being sometimes uh, musically heavy, they always feel emotionally heavy. Sometimes I feel like they're heavy. It's heavier. his voice. Uh, it, you, it, you really go back it's to It's his voice. I think it's his voice mixed in with the old atmosphere. With the old atmosphere, but I think his voice has so much despair and just emotion. Agony. And agony, yeah. I, find, I don't know if you agree with this, but I find it that their heavier songs are, are not as emotionally driven. And the, the and their, their more mellow songs uh, are heavy, but from an emotional perspective. Yeah. It almost feels like... Oh, this song is already heavy. It doesn't have to be superly emotionally heavy in the delivery because the song is already heavy. In the songs that it doesn't have that same bite, uh, I have to, we have to add the heaviness somewhere else. So he adds it in, in his delivery. It just feels feels like it's coming from a deep place. Yeah. Always, I love it. Nice track, man. Nice track. Uh, nice way to get the weekend started. All right, guys. This is it for today. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.